The 1991 Formula One Custom Championship is brought to you by... After scoring his first points at Imola, our footwork driver with the lone D once more. He now has the opportunity on the Ardennes roller coaster at Spa Francorchamps in Belgium at the third round of this championship. Qualifying was already promising. Does he have what it takes for his first podium? Was able to do it again, second pole in a row, under not optimal track conditions compared to time trial, but enough to keep Patrese three tenths behind me. Another three tenths back is Nigel, then Berger already. 1.2 seconds away, Senna 1.4. Schumacher, his first convincing performance in this series, now on P6, in front of Post, then it's Piquet in the second Benetton. Good performance by the Benettons here. The Cesarist in 9, Modena, Alisi, bad performance by him, don't know what happened there. Then it's the rest of the pack. Gachot, Brundle, Martini, Capelli, Morbidelli, Hakkinen, Herbert, Nakajima, Butsen, Blandel, Koma, Suzuki, Bernard, Gujelmin, and again, Mikita Alboreto in the last spot. Seven seconds down. After this qualifying, my goal can only be a race win or at least a podium. The weather settings should enable me to do a good race. The only issue could be the tire wear, which is pretty intense here. The wear is so great that on lap four or five, it becomes very itchy and twitchy and iffy and tricky to drive. We'll see. Here we go. Okay, Timo, here we go. So everything's set and I'm waiting for green. Green, let's go, let's go. Oh. Okay, had to concede this position. Ricardo was clearly on the front. Senna behind. For the first time through the Rouge and Radion. It's flat out, even now, with the full car. And the first lap, and oh, my top speed is so much better. Let's keep it tight, smooth and clean. Don't overdo it here in these first laps. shift and it's already three seconds to Ricardo well Okay, that gap is okay and good. Let's not give him any draft. And now concentrate on closing down the gap to Ricardo. Ooh. 
See that? That's about the limit. Shouldn't get any more on that curve. Oh, and the wear on that right wheel is it's insane. Should be safe on the straights, but you never know. Harder than I thought in race trim. Yeah. Oh, set a close down the gap rapidly. Much closer than last lap. Alright, Timo, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. <laughs> I'm trying to. It's only lap three and the right front is down to about 60%. Four seconds now. Three seconds. Well, yeah. Mm, a bit too late. Ah. See that? That snap. That's already due to the tires. Hmm. Okay. Tires are already over their peak, clearly. Yeah. That must be about consolidating, as I won't be able to attack anymore. About a second on that lap to Ricardo. No. It's the middle sector where I really suffer now. Yeah. Let's see it in the split. Horrible delta. Hmm.
Oh no. Oh, that was a clear mistake. You're out to track limits there. Yep, sorry. Car right. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Come on, keep pushing. Okay, I'll be getting him by the end of this lap. It's horrible there right now. Sliding. Almost no grip anymore. And I'm just losing to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Can't help it. Can't go tactical right now. The grip loss is too immense. No repair, luckily. Okay. Go, go, go. Yep. There's a car approaching. Watch your mirrors. Stay behind the white line. It's still P10. Huge differences. Yeah. Like in real life, huge differences. Have to back up for you. Car right. Play right. Well done, Timo. Great move. Keep it up.
So, let's see if I can reel in the Benetons. Well, the tires. It's really an issue here. Really a factor. The performance is already waning. Okay. So guys, when are you coming in? Ooh, it's a bit too late. But I've got the next three cars in sight. Up to the Cesaris, who drives a pretty good race. Okay, Timo, you're reeling. Schumacher in the gap is now. And the Benetons are also much stronger. As I. Woo! As I hoped. Come on, please, tires, please. Ooh, it's already beginning. Uh, okay. Not much progress. Your lap time was 157.06. Sectors 1 and 3 are fast. Sector 2 is 1.6 seconds off the pace. Oh. I'm beginning to wonder if they'll do a pit stop anyway. Hmm. But they should, they really should. Significant grip loss. Every lap. Oh. Well, it's hard in, in the sec to stay close in the second sector. Wow, two seconds down already. Wow. 
And I also lost two seconds to Patrese. Are they really... Oh, driving through without a pit stop, really? That's impressive. some top speed advantage. Are they not coming in, really? Okay, what a relief. <laughs> okay. One, you mean? Really? That would be cool. But it's three more laps. Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Woo! Oh, God. So much faster. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Okay. Okay, to be honest, I don't have the actual pace, but I am in front and I'm going to defend my P1 as long as I can.
Almost too late. Oh yeah. The tires, the tires. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ayrton. Yes, you're faster overall, but I'm in front. <laughs> and I've got the better top speed. Ooh. Set than done, but I'm doing my best. Yes! On your right. First race right. win! Right side. Oh, thanks, man. Play right. Yeah, easy, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Ugh. Yes, guys, I'm happy. First race win. Not the fastest car on the track. <laughs> Definitely not. But, at the right time... Car left. Where I needed Play to left. be, I'd say. <laughs> cool. And... Again, I think there, mm, the AI's race strategy, pit stop strategy, was far away from optimal. They should have gone in about lap 10. I guess their tire management is better than mine. My car was almost undrivable from lap five, lap six on, but they fucked it up. Well, what can I say? Wasn't the fastest car on the track, but was able to, to sneak in P1 when everybody got in and was able to defend my, my position on your left. in Ayrton yeah. style against Ayrton. Yeah, first win in the third race, of course elevating me up in the overall standing. So let's take a look at this race's results, all right? We all saw it, just a fraction of a second in front of Ayrton. Already six seconds in front of Gerhardt, who completes the podium. Rost in fourth, good result. Mansell only fifth. BK, good result, good drive by him. He not only overtook Schumacher, but also De Cesaris, Capelli and Patrese. Very good, very good stuff, Nelson. Patrese in seventh, and it's Ivan Capelli. That's the premier for the Leighton House driver, Ivan Capelli in P8. Nine, De Cesaris. 10 Schumacher, 11 Modena, 12 Gasho, 13 Hakkinen, who is really pretty good when it comes to racing, I have to say. Morbidelli in 14, Herbert 15, Butzen, Brandl, Bernard, much better than last time, Blundell, Suzuki in 20th, Eric Koma, Martini only in P22, there must have happened something to him because his best time of 158.5 is much faster than the guys around him. P23, Satoru Nakajima. <laughs> Again, Michele, he seems to have a subscription on, on that position. P24 for Alboreto, who did not do a stop. He didn't come into the pits. Ah, cool, isn't that? So different strategies, as well as Blundell and Suzuki. They did not come into the pits. Gujalmin in the yeah, 
penultimate place and Lacey one lap down. Well, must two stops must have had an accident damage even. And what about the front? Capelli didn't do a stop and that got him P8. Great, great. Yeah, just in front of the Cesares and Schumacher were in his wake. Cool. Cool to see that different strategies can work out here. The first seven, of course, did one stop. Yeah, and I have, I have some mixed feelings. Actually, I have done the quickest lap. Interesting. Interesting. But I'm, well, but honestly, I never had the impression that I was actually the fastest car on the track. Well, <laughs> I take it. That's okay. And let's continue to the point overview after, um, after round three. Spa. 15 for me, 12 for Senna, third podium for him, for him, pretty good. Berger 9, Ross 7, Mansell 5, PK3, Patrese 2, and Capelli 1. So these are the overall standings, championship standings after round 3. Wow, uh, cool, isn't that, isn't that cool? Berger and Senna leading. Two guys who, well, clearly have not the fastest car but are always there in the front to pick up points when necessary. Great stuff. Well, yeah, Berger, two podiums, one win, 31 points. Senna in second, three podiums, 30 points. Two third places, one second place. Patrese now in third, 26. I'm in fourth, 22. Nigel, 22. And then it's a bigger gap to Post, who now is 12. Lacey remains at 10. Then it's the Cesaris with three, another big gap. PK three, Morbidelli two, and Capelli one. Everybody else zero. Well, yeah, it, it all comes, comes together. Things happening in the race. I think accidents, damages, cars doing two stops, cars doing not even one stop. Great stuff, great stuff, great race, great race. I won the race, my, my first victory in this championship. And now I'm looking forward to the last two races. I mean. Monza is the next one and then we have Suzuka for the final round and yeah Monza although I'm only in the V8 I think setup wise I can, I can really do something to uh, get my car there in front. I'm excited for it. Stay tuned. Next video will be out in a couple of days. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye.